that's pretty impressive. Now, how did Maple do it? That's what we're about to see. We're going to learn a technique which is as old, it's even older than I am. Euclid, I know you find this hard to believe, he's older than I am. That's my joke for today. The Euclidean algorithm, the idea is if you're trying to find the greatest common divisor of n and m, what you do is divide n by m. Get quotient and remainder. So I write down two facts. If you divide n by m and you get remainder 0, then the greatest common divisor is m. That's obvious, isn't it? What happens if you don't get 0? And, and that's the second fact. If the remainder is positive, then the greatest common divisor of n and m is the same as the greatest common divisor of the smaller number and the remainder. Now, how deep is that? How difficult is that? Well, there's the proof on the bottom line. Divide both sides by d. n over d is the quantity qm plus r over d, and distributing the division, that's q times m over d plus r over d. So if n over d is an integer and m over d is an integer, then r over d has to be an integer. It's that simple. That's the proof. All right, now let's apply it. Now, here's the improved algorithm, a little code. To compute the greatest common divisor of two integers, n and m, and, and let me remind you, uh, I, this code doesn't have any error checking in it. If you insert negative integers, it's going to misbehave. If you make m bigger than n, it's going to do bad things. So I start off with saying got it is 0. While got it is 0, do this loop. Take r and it's n mod m. And if r is 0, return m. Otherwise, set n to be m and m to be r and loop. <laughs> 